St. Bernard Parish Council will vote on a controversial water and sewer rate increase tomorrow night. Here's reporter Andy Cunningham one more time with more on the vote that's expected to be a very close one. A low turnout Monday night for a town hall style meeting between residents and council members in St. Bernard ahead of Tuesday's big vote. I particularly wanted to have a town hall meeting along with the other councilmen because the biggest thing is public information and making sure everybody understands where we're at and what the reasons are. Councilman Richard Lewis, who called for the town hall, said he understands why the debate to increase rates have been so heated and added. That's why they're trying to give residents plenty of opportunities to ask questions and share concerns. I know if, if something happens with water rates as soon as they get the water bill, we get in a bunch of phone calls. So it's always best to try to inform the public of what you're doing and why you're doing it and maybe get some feedback. We represent them. The rates in St. Bernard, currently among the lowest in the region, would nearly double for residents and it would mark the first increase to water or sewage since 1997. And some residents here have urged the council to consider a smaller rate increase and phase those increases in over a longer period of time and not all at once. Something that could be discussed before votes are cast. But if the council doesn't approve the rate increase, the parish could lose out on $31 million in state loans, money needed to repair the century old system that has been blasted of late following the death of a four-year-old boy from a brain-eating amoeba in 2013 and chronic water discoloration, especially in the Araby area. This is not an option. We, are, we, we, we will not get this loan, and, and our parish will not have the water system that it needs to supply its residents with safe water. Tuesday's vote is expected to be a close one, and insiders say it could go either way. Reporting on your side, Andy Cunningham, WDSU News. It will be a public hearing before tomorrow night's vote at 7 o'clock in the old Borgard, Borgard Courthouse on Bayou Road. In case you missed it earlier today, New Orleans.